What's up, ladies and gents? Sinistrain01 is your host, and we are back with a brand new gameplay walkthrough. This time we're going to be going over Amnesia. Um, a, machine for a machine for pigs, that's right. It's kind of a weird name. It doesn't roll off the tongue, but as you can hear, I have a special guest with me again. Go ahead and say hello to Carrie, or aka Watchtower. Hey, you guys. What's up? All right, so we're going to go ahead and implement or input our name here. You oh, wait, okay, mom. wait, that's okay. Wait, so she's not playing this game because she'd probably be scared shitless. Me? So, no, I, it was a joke. It was it was a YouTube joke. I was like, I'm not scared of these kind yes. of games. Yes. <laughs> Carrie isn't scared of this, but I'm going to shit my pants. This is a true, genuine, scary mother effing game, and I can already feel the pain that's going to be happening here. So, I am going to be playing this with an actual controller to make it a little bit easier so we can talk a little bit easier and better. Hopefully, you guys can hear me over the the music and stuff. I don't plan on talking too much over the game as of course this is a kind of game where ambient noises and sounds and music really make and shape the game. Again, I wanted to do a uh, face camera but I just didn't have the means to do it. Maybe in the future when more games like this that we play we'll be able to do that a little bit easier. So we're going to go into some graphic options just to show you what we got set up. As you can see the game is already targeted to high. Everything is up, advanced. Um, as far as all that good stuff goes, so everything is as high as it's going to be, and uh, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it. Again, as I said, we are doing the gamepad, so you can actually look at the key configuration here and set up a few things. It looks like we need to change at least something here. We need to lean right, so we're going to go with um, right on the D-pad. Do you think it's too loud? And then lean left. No, it should be fine. Okay. And then lean left, we can go D-pad left. Um, I'm not really sure what this lean thing is. Uh, it's probably in some tie to that one. So we're going to leave it uh, pretty much blank for now. Everything else is pretty much your standard fare. So we're going to go ahead and save here. All right, let's see. Mouse sensitivity, game pads. Everything seems to be uh, pretty much exactly the way that I want it. Graphics are all up. Sensitivity are very important. And of course... Um, Gamma is oh yeah, we want to invert. And let's see. Let's go up. Okay, yeah, everything seems to be just working fine. Alright, so I think we're ready to do this. Hopefully the brightness is going to be good enough for you guys. Um, if I need to change the brightness up, please let me know in the uh, comments below. Don't forget to like this video as we are going to have lots of fun doing this for you guys. Again, I don't normally play these kind of games, so I think it's going to be a nice reaction uh, for myself and Carrie as far as playing a game called Amnesia, a machine for pigs. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and get into this. Thank you so much for watching already, and it's go time. He who makes a beast of himself removes himself from the pain of being human. Dr. Samuel Johnson Daddy, Daddy, please don't kill me. It's got to be one of the weirdest openings I think I've ever seen for a video game. Wow, I guess all the normal parents back in these days, they uh, 
They like to sleep in kind of a jail prison. Or prison bed, that's what I like to call it. Alright, here we go. Amnesia, a machine for pigs. Pigs are just freaky to me, so I'm already scared just by that. Right, looks like we finally got control here. Okay, I think we need to straighten our head out a little bit. There we go. <laughs> That'd been weird if you had to play with your head all the way down to the left. Alright, it looks like we got full control. Alright, so we're definitely going to be looking around. We're going to be taking our time. Try to get everything that we can from this game. And hopefully we're going to be frightened. In my dreams, I see a man, dressed in jagger skins and leathered like a blooded saint. What came from the heart lubricated us, and crushed evil under its tread and liberated us all. The fourteen heart of the jungle mirrored somewhere behind my forehead. My temple pounds, the blood boils in my skull. It feels as if there is something alive there, a rat. A damn rat gnawing through my brains, eating its way out into the world. Even the... Laudanum will not quite, not quell its endless hunger. I hear my children playing in the attic, but it fills me with terror, not love. What desperate thoughts are these? A crazy man's. A crazy man's thoughts. That's right. So a crazy man. I mean, look how he sleeps. He, I guess, he has a, a bad habit of falling out of the bed. <laughs> I used to be that way too, but uh, I definitely didn't have that around me. So as far as what we can do, let's kind of see what we can do here. Alright, so that's pretty cool. We can kind of open stuff up, can pick things up, can move them in and out, just like the classic stuff from the uh, first Amnesia. This guy's an alcoholic. He's got wine everywhere. Oh, shit, look at that. The pigs are watching. Alright, well, let's do this. Oh, it's so freaky. Daddy, Daddy, find us! So you must be a daddy. I wake alone to a house in silence. That missing sound of children playing is, is like a dark and fecund sepultry. 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 Okay, go, 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 not English. <laughs> going on, beckoning me to begin a descent to the loam where surely only bodies may be found. No matter, my children call and I shall answer. I will find them. Alright. Again, if the brightness is too bright or not bright enough, let me know. It's really hard to tell with these kind of games. I want to make sure you guys see everything you need to see, but at the same time, I want it to be good. I held your hand and watch the blood pool between your legs. You lived long enough to see Edwin, but not Enoch. I will take care of them, my love. I promise you this. Alright, so obviously the mother died during childbirth. She got to see the first child born, but she, I guess, didn't make it for the second one. Okay, you can turn on the lights. Ooh, freaky. I farted. <laughs> I guess we'll check out the bathroom before we head upstairs. I believe we're supposed to be heading towards the attic, uh, for at least from the letter. Well, what a bathroom like that? Well, not so dirty. Ooh. I mean, this game looks really good, too. I like the wall tiles. Oh, we shut the bathroom. I just like to look at the art on the pictures. They kind of tell a story in its own, too. Of how the, uh, the owners are and all that. So why are you shutting the doors? 
Well, if one thing I've learned from playing these kind of games is <laughs> shut the doors. This way. Kids. All right, let's use a little bit of that lean mechanic. It's freaking creepy. Oh, shell, oh my gosh. I don't know why that just freaked me out. It was a chair. <laughs> because the noise started as soon as I was trying to reveal what was behind the door and it freaked me out. Well, it worked. <laughs> Alright, so we got something else, so let's see what we got. Okay, that's the document that we found, so let's look at my journal. Okay. But they slept in the attic when they were babies in arms. And perhaps they have hidden there now. I remember I insisted upon it midway between my bedroom and my office. Oh, did you hear? Oh man, that sound. Hopefully you guys are hearing that. There's a bad man coming. I don't like bad men. Oh, freaky. Oh shit. Are there supposed to be children? Well, it seems like we're going after our children, so it would make sense why we would see children. Are these the children that the mother died giving birth to? Or? That, that would be my guess. Hopefully you guys can hear her. She's a little soft-spoken. Sorry. This is not really a place for children to play. Yeah, I would agree. And Daddy says there won't be a Christmas this year. He's... He's much too busy. Nanny says we must not disturb him. He is so ever busy. He is gone for work before she wakes us, and often we are asleep before he returns. We found a bird in the garden with a broken wing. We gave it to Nanny, who said it was a filthy thing and hit it with the rolling pin. Later, we crept downstairs to bury the body when everyone was asleep. There was a pig in the garden. We heard it snuffling about. Then Daddy came and said we had to come inside straight away. He was furious, but we think he'd been crying again. Oh, look, was he military? I see some type of uh, military uniform right there. It's still creepy. Alright, well, let's go. We search in the opposite direction of where someone goes first, just in case. All these pigs are following us there, these pig masks. hear them so clearly at least I've got headphones on Carrie unfortunately doesn't but oh the ambient noise is so clear Gosh, what's with these pigs? Oh, they stopped. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, <laughs> that's a little freaky when doors close on their own. I'm just m mesmerized right now by this game. If I'm not mistaken, the lantern should stay lit the whole time. You don't have to 
search for anything to keep the lantern lit. Alright, looks like there's nothing else. Looks like these are doors I guess you can't go in or out. Nope. Alright, so LT runs. Daddy. Beautiful paintings. You must collect them or something. Maybe he's like kind of a collector. Yeah, he's definitely a collector. Oh shit! Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. So the point of amnesia is your house haunted or what's going on? Like well, this is a little different than uh, the first Amnesia game. Uh, they kind of looks like they went in a new direction. So I'm not really sure what's going on as of yet. Look at the painting above. Not above. To your... To your uh... What the heck is with the paintings? <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's give that one a second look. <laughs> <laughs> making love to a goose. Hey, can you grab that gun? It looks like it's grabbable. I don't know. He doesn't want you to grab it. No. Alright. Well, let's keep going. kids being so creepy is my question. I don't know. I'm sure we're going to find out. Maybe they're dead? And just haunting the place? Hello? Hello? Precious eagle cactus fruit. Help us. Okay, that's cryptic. Crypto. That's so weird. I was thinking of that name this morning. Or the word cryptic. Alright, so there's got to be a way out of this room. <laughs> Get out of my way, chair. Okay. Ah, hidden door, my friend. Let's see what it says. Where once we sat to weep Lily's passing and her weapons that cannot slay the angels to retrieve her from heaven. Look beyond the paintings, Oswald. Where once you watched her bathe. Ooh, the children must have discovered those secret places and take refuge there. Refuge? Huh. What are they taking refuge from? You? Oh shit. Hey, those are your kids. Or your twins. Oh my gosh, you have a Lex Luthor. <laughs> Daddy, how does it feel? Uh, I don't know if. Whoa, look, you can see the painting through like the glass. That's so cool. Alright, we got a note. Replacement is dissatisfactory, so like a pump. Better the intestinal candle like a tapeworm already hosting intrusion in the breed. 
Brass sweeter than copper, more resistant. Filaments sewn to, be to bone hold. Marrow pipe removal with needle potential. Composite replacement straightforward. Will respond to electromagnetic inducement to increase yield rate. Serum provides accelerated resetting, resulting in naturalized movement within two to three days. Subjects still require severing of frontal lobes to reduce emotional stress distress upon reactivation. Damn. Damn it. Damn this wretched soul. If only it were clockwork. Did you understand a damn word that he just said? Yes, I do. He was performing lobotomies, which is severing the, both frontal lobes, um, which causes you to basically become very numb and um, emotionless. I'm glad I got Carrie along for the ride. That's why I'm called Watchtower. This dawning epoch, this age of reason, an empire grown fat, ripe for the bleeding. So someone, I don't know if it's my character, has been watching whoever takes a bath through here. He's got wine bottles set up, <laughs> and a chair, looks like he's been writing stuff. We got a sicko here. I think it's you. It probably is me. Which you're allowed to watch your wife bathe. Yeah, but... Um, there's more than just one woman in these pictures. They both have the same boobs. Unless it's the same woman, I don't know. They're both laying, or they're laying in different positions, so I don't know why. <coughs> Bless me. Alright, looks like we found our way out. They must be disappearing because there's like, they went over in this area, but there's like nowhere you can actually go. Oh shit. So what does it mean when that happens? Earthquake? Nobody knows yet. Earthquake! <laughs> I'm just like amazed at all the paintings, how beautiful they are. But remember you can see people through them. Yes, that's true. <laughs> From the other side. All right. Well, looks. Here we go. In Lily's honor, a banquet. We will fasten the great mouth down over the chimney and inhale the world and suck the fairies, the nonsense clean from your dirty heart. <laughs> 